New Zealand television audiences are the highest they've been in a decade, with almost 1.6 million people tuning in during the evenings. The figure suggests that despite distractions like the internet, texting and games, television is surviving and even gaining ground. But as Tony Field reports, these are challenging times for the TV industry. The cold weather and the recession. Advertising executives say there are two reasons why more people are watching TV. On average, almost 1.6 million people tuned in each night last month across all channels. That's up 6.5% on a year ago. At 8 o'clock on most nights, 40% of the population will be watching TV in some form or another. That is despite increased competition from the likes of broadband internet. The reality is, is that online is not... Uh, replacing television viewing. It's, it's uh, incremental it's in the same way that television didn't replace radio. But the increase in viewers comes as TV ad revenue falls and as people increasingly multitask while they watch. Someone's watching TV, they've got the laptop on their knee, um, but they're also texting at the same time, um, particularly prevalent with, with the younger demographics. And it's not just teenagers who can multitask. I'll read a book at the weekend while the TV's on in the background. I'll read and watch, yeah, yeah. Because men can multitask. That makes it even harder for advertisers to grab people's attention. You've got to get something in there, you've got to make it stick, it's got to be simple, it's got to be clear. So we try and define our brands in a word um, so that consumers can walk away going, I get what that brand means. Media consultant Martin Gilman says advertisers have to look beyond the ratings to find shows where the viewers pay full attention. One of the obvious ones uh, that um, do get very high attention values are soap operas, um, because by definition, you, know, you actually want to make sure that if you, mi if you miss one, then you want to catch up on it. The experts say people will still be watching TV in years to come, but it may be on a phone, the internet, or maybe even on something that hasn't been invented yet. Tony Field, 3 News.